Hello, my little worms! I'm Day, and welcome back to Dig Complete's Arknights, the series in which I try to actually make progress in the Arknight story, one level at a time. And the level we're attacking today is M8 2 Silence, born of excessive speech. Kalzit has never demonstrated impatience when explaining a story to others. She is either very good at controlling herself, or she actually enjoys it. Good to know, Kalzit. Good to know. Central District. A short while before. Before what? Before what in particular? We, we've been in the past in the other levels. Please, please, before what in particular? How are you certain Amir's group will reach the command tower without crossing one of Tallulah's elite squads? This is the problem with conspirators. Take a warlord, or a tyrant, or a devious king. Their strongholds are always easy to defend, hard to attack. They know their own deeds will invite furious retribution without fail. They'll use superior strength and advanced armaments to deploy unyielding defense. Yet, seeing as Tallulah's despotic behavior is confirmed to be some of kind of act, she would not do things this way. What makes you so confident? Experience. Theory. Phenomena. All big words that you've decided to randomly use. <laughs> I have no confidence. I can only derive the facts. Tallulah is maintaining her own image. She needs to have the normal infected respect her, have the Sarkaz mercenaries obey her, have the gorillas trust her, have the zealots worship her. She needs to have the distance between her and them clearly visible, and have these people able to examine each other. According to a series of behavior exhibited by Reunion so far, we can very clearly realize that Reunion's other leaders do not particularly recognize Tallulah's conduct, conduct? <laughs> conduct at all. Even Patriot, seeing through to her scheme, had no power to reverse the tide in the middle of its change. If he could have killed Tallulah all the same, he still would have been unable to alter Reunion, tending towards collapse. Damn. To say nothing of the plot to exploit the infected that Tallulah has drawn up inside her own head. The time she would need likely far exceeds the time Reunion has existed so far. Aha. I conjecture that all of Reunion's actions up to now have been premised on a plan. Namely, Reunion will perish after all this is over. Oh. Tallulah will scatter keen, hidden forces across every part of her territory. When she needs them, they'll assemble them. They'll assemble them? She'll assemble them. Oops. She'll assemble them and have them make their appearance at the right moment. Doctor, I believe the Empire of Ursus' third army would not permit any infected to act freely whatsoever. However, Reunion's current conduct is all within the bounds of their tolerance. Superficial violence, lacking discipline and organization. The third army must be happy to see it. Think about it carefully. Would they limit themselves to being onlookers? Thus, would they risk truly, willingly letting Tallulah control a whole city, even a whole country's state of affairs? Or perhaps, even this is one of the weights on Tallulah's scales, used to swindle the Ursus military out of their power, having them hibernate somewhere, waiting until the situation is just about to move on from her control. And then, in the truest sense, she'll be able to use the power she could never even touch, just as she wishes. But that needs time. Now that you say all that, how, how is she not a tyrant? Because while current reunion wants that in a leader, it doesn't truly need that in a leader. A tyrant treasures one's own enablers, even if a tyrant more often than not recklessly destroys them for lack of foresight or composure, and weeps truest, deepest tears for it. A conspirator does not. The tyrant has chess pieces, and the conspirator does too. But the tyrant is with them on the chessboard, while the conspirator sits outside of it. We can suppose she has humanity, and thus might make mistakes. But if we're talking about a qualified conspirator, with a scheme on the tracks, then even if she herself died, her scheme would continue as a matter of course. Is our operation useless then? If they were, we'd, we'd hardly be taking Rhodes Island's operators to hell and back. The only thing naturally useless is killing her. So in every part and every place, we must break down her plot, antagonize her instructions, and lead her scheme to failure. If we cannot halt a landship's forward march, then we will tear it to pieces and make it arrive at its destination no more than an empty carapace. Ah, maybe I shouldn't have put it to you like that. Don't get me wrong, we, we still need to stop this Chernobyl core city. But can we? But can we? <laughs> Doctor, you're worried about whether or not Amir's group will run into any incidents. I think what's on show before us is the real incident here. W, W, where W? 
W stronger. Don't. Don't enter. Can you communicate with them? A certain Sark has tribe's language. Underground, full of darkness. Darkness create evil. Evil bring pain. Too much pain. A certain Sark has tribe's language. Will you share our pain? No luck. Even if they weren't born in Kazdel, they should still have some kind of reaction to a hint of their native language. Their ability to actively think has been damaged. Could those words you were saying have any effect on them? They were meant to in the first place. No, wait, this wasn't a common sense idea, D don't get excited. But if not even this lets me rouse their conscious, then they've already lost all capacity for thought. Simply be- uh, simply beyond? Beyond simply their ability to express. It means their brain's activities have been sealed off, or that their nervous system has been perturbed by the infected organs. Either way, we don't have enough time left to ascertain the true answer. Just based on what facts we have, it's not looking good. They don't seem like they'll attack us. They're preventing us from entering. Deeply infected Sarkaz mercenaries in this area number around six, and seem to spend most of their time set to an unconscious roam. Their range of movement doesn't extend outside this passage. These severely infected collected here, only after they picked up on our activity. Moreover, as long as we don't cross some boundary, they don't do anything further. Reconnaissance Operator, can you detect our straight line distance to the sarcophagus? Determine position via the waveform I provided. 1.4 kilometers. Precise figure? 1,453 meters. If my calculations aren't wrong, then the breakout of conflict between Reunion and Sarkaz Special Infected happened to be roughly at distance 1.4 kilometers from the City Hall 2. We initially planned to enter the sarcophagus holding the City Hall basement shelter passage, but as things are, that exit's likely been occupied by Sarkaz Special Infected of the same kind. I have an unconfirmed conjecture, Doctor. What kind of conjecture? <laughs> Conjecture? <laughs> sure. We don't know what their goal is, but these Sarkaz Special Infected are likely preventing anyone else from entering the sarcophagus holding, and by happy coincidence, coincidence? <laughs> coincidence, this district they've controlled measures 1.4 kilometers out. You might be right, but what about their goal then? Shakes her head. At the very least, it's not the same goal these Sarkaz originally had. Dot, 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 dot. Poor Sarkaz, hailing from Kazdel. No matter where, they still become tools. I believe there are similarities between Infected and the Sarkaz current in situations. These Sarkaz here with us could only choose to well with hate or to lose it all. Things were meant to have changed. We have that power. Those Tikaz who lost their homeland have become Sarkaz, rootless as people. And now, the Sarkaz before us can barely even be called people. How, how do you want to do things? All operators, inspect your hazmat equipment. What we're facing may be a class 2 emergency infective situation. Doctor, in minimizing wear and tear to the utmost, we must halt the special infectors' activity to the utmost. We haven't stepped in to resolve an emergency infective state for a while. This outfit looks entirely like Ursus's infected patrol unit. Infected patrol unit? There's something I can't deny. The hazmat equipment we've been provided with is emblematic of Ursus's cruel rule over the infected. It shares the same prototypical design. Oh, though our approach is intrinsically distinct from the infected patrol unit, I can only hope we're able to continue preserving that intrinsic difference, that outside forces don't force us to change beyond recognition. The same hope we hold for so many things, just like I told you about some time before. I hope... I hope you'll hope so too. A lot of hoping there. <laughs> Amia, woo! What's going on here? That's a lot of dashes. Dash, 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 exclamation mark. Dash, 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 was dash Madam Chen here? <laughs> Why so many dashes, Amia? That's like a very excessive number of dashes. I still don't know how to read out dashes, so I'm just gonna say dash, because it's, it's easier that way. Which way was he headed? West. Stones throw from the exclusion zone of Glowing Hoof. Where's Glowing Hoof? I've never heard of that name before. He plotted all of this. It was to ensure the area where we signed the pact was secure. Lithanian expanded their contended exclusion zone, overlapping our own. We can infiltrate, kill Cachet and bring back the miss. No, he's already prepared. In this meeting, the twin empresses directly dispatched the empress's voice, and they weren't short on... on? Of armed forces. 
the empresses are fresh upon the throne. If Cachet intends to blow our dis 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 <laughs> diplomacy apart, all our transgressive conduct may very we very we <laughs> speak me. Come on, speak. May very well be the empresses' excuse to flaunt their power. We can't give Cachet more opportunities to harm Lungman or even Yan. Uncle. Dot 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 dot. Hui Che. Uncle, it, it's not Tal's fault. I'm not blaming her. Th th then you should get mad at me. You haven't done anything wrong. I told her I was going to go with her, but but then I got scared. I I let go of her hand. I, I didn't go with her. She, she looked really, really scared. I was really scared, and, and she was too. I I did something wrong. Hui Che, she made the mistake, not you. Huh, but, but, but you said you wouldn't blame her, uncle. No, I won't. But didn't... Didn't she do something wrong? If she does something wrong, you're, you're not going to get mad at her? Dash dash. She doesn't know the truth. It's not a truth anyone should be privy to. So of course she'd make a mistake. If not now, she would in the future. In so many cases, the wrong thing shouldn't be punished. Not only do we make mistakes, we'll make so many of them. If there's some mistake, we will make it. We can't dodge that, nor escape it. Tallulah simply made the mistake she was bound to. Is, is that still doing something wrong then? Yes, of course it is. The, this world of ours wouldn't forgive something just because it was bound to happen. The world is harsh. The people are harsh. The regimes are harsh. Apart from right and wrong, they don't care a damn. As if it's right and wrong keeping them alive and not what they breathe and swallow. Dot 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 dot. I, I don't get what you're saying, Uncle. Does, does it mean Tal can still come back? I don't know, Huiche. I don't know. Is it because of me Tal won't come back? It's, it's, it's my fault! It's my fault, Tal. Hui Che! <laughs> Wipe your tears away. I, I... Or cry then. I'll give you five minutes. After you're done crying, if there's not still tears in your eyes, I'll tell you what you should do. <laughs> Tal! Wei Yan Wu gazes towards the sky. He considers bending down to comfort the tiny girl, but after hesitating, feels as if he isn't suited to the task. You're done crying, then. Mm-hmm. I want Tal back. What should I do? I'll teach you a world of things. I'll teach you how to supervise a city, how to fend off villains, how to treat your friends. Do as I say, and Tallulah will have a chance of coming back. What, what do I do? Will Tal be back? Be, be, be back? Will, t will Tal be able to come back? Re really? Are you tricking me, Uncle? Mama. Mama. Mama said you you only know how to trick people. <laughs> oh, it's how to. Can, can I really believe you? Perhaps. I've made a massive mistake of my own, and it led to your mother despising me for her whole life. Even on her deathbed, she couldn't have let go. What she told you is understandable. But. Mistakes can be made right. Hui Che, listen carefully. Proper conduct is worth striving your whole life for. Correcting a mistake is worth putting life itself at stake for. Tallulah's departure was a mistake. Every consequence it brings, I will bear. And you, Hui Che, you'd better grow up fast. W what, what will it be like when I grow up? Hmm. When you grow up, you'll be able to change everything. Really? Perhaps. Or... Let's put it this way. So long as you believe, it will be real. I'll teach you how to wield a sword, Hui Che. To wield a uh, Chi Jiao. <laughs> Maybe it's close enough in the pronunciation. I don't know how to pronounce any of these words. It's just, I don't speak these languages. Unsheathing strike. Eradicate without delay. Oh ho ho. Well, that was a nice flashback between Wei Yan Wu and Qian. <laughs> Trying to remember the names. Yep, that's probably how I pronounce those. Yeah, that was a decently nice uh, flashback scene at the end there. I still wonder how uh, the actual like, main group there with, um, you know, the Doctor and uh, Calcet. <laughs> I completely blanked on her name for a second there. <laughs> Oops. Uh, I wonder how they're going to get past those uh, herdified soldiers because they, they seem like they might be a little bit of a threat, but I'm sure they will figure it all out. Anyway, if you liked the video, be sure to leave a like and why not subscribe to the channel for more content like this. I mean, I have cash belly. It does something. I still don't know what. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next level. So for now, goodbye, everybody, and a roll. The outro. I gave that bastard what he deserved. A funeral. Fit for.
forward.